what is going on everybody we're back on it jujutsu kaisen season 2 episode 19 i think after this we have five episodes left it's actually wild i feel like this has been going on for i can't remember the last what was that my hero that had like 24 straight episodes like of course i'm watching one piece and that's never gonna end but i feel like everyone's been doing these like little 12 part or like attack on titan would come back and leave and come back and leave like we've been i mean this has been a while <laughs> we've been grinding this for a while didn't even know if we would finish, but I haven't heard any new studio animation debacles going on. So I guess they're just going to finish it out and kind of see, I guess, what they plan to do with the seasons going forward. But jumping into here, we had the unfortunate passing, not even passing, just murder of Nanami last episode. They got us with it once and then didn't get us with it, then like faked us back out and then got us again. I'm assuming Maki is okay. Um... I'm, I'm sure even if she has any damage, I'm assuming if anybody has any damage here, they're just going to get healed um, by the girl. I forget her name. That's kind of where everyone's being taken at the moment. Um, it's also wild to see. Well, that's a whole nother discussion, but like it's a principle. Are you doing anything? I'm pretty sure the girl can like handle the healing. Can you like, I don't know, get out there and assist? So we have Itadori versus Mahito, but we also have Nobara as well versus Mahito. Uh, I don't know what she really plans to do, um, just given her current power level. She couldn't handle the guy that had the kind of like the luck marks on his eyes. And I think we all agree Mahito is way above that. So what she actually plans to do, I have no idea. I don't know if they're going to work together. And then has anyone checked on Mei Mei and her sexual relations with her little brother and what they're doing with Ghetto, <laughs> with fake Ghetto over there? I feel like she needs to be checked on because I don't think that's going to go good either. Um, so she might die as well. Um, I don't know if we're going to like have an episode to take a deep breath. We kind of had that a little bit with uh, what was that the episode like Toji hit the scene where we kind of like took a deep breath and they kind of reset the setting um, and all that. But we've got five episodes left. So I'm curious, like, are we going to wrap up this incident and kind of like Okay, where's the where does the world and the characters go from here? Or are we just hitting like fight after banger after fight after banger till the season ends and it's like whatever happens for next season's next season. I have absolutely no idea. Um this also should be available in 1080p. You guys let me know if that's available now. Um Let's get it. What can you do other than get in the I don't know, maybe she'll shock the world. Maybe she'll shock the world. What can she do other than get in the way, though? For real, for real. Yes, Nanami's dead. Like, what is she? I don't know. I'm not going to shit on her because we already shat on her last time she was on screen. Let's see if she shocks the world. How, though? That makes literal sense. Because she didn't just, she didn't gain power um, in the span of, what's it, what has it been? Like, 10 minutes since Nanami left her? Uh, So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, God. And the dead human bodies is just going to tick him off. I also don't know what Itadori can do here. Because if I do, if I was a betting man, which I am, you know, we dabble in a little bit of gambling. Oh, God. If I was a betting man, Itadori does not defeat, does not kill Mahito here. So how do we get out of this? Itadori is mentally, like, on the brink of just total depression and collapse and madness. And Nobara also doesn't possess the necessary power. So, let's see what happens here. Is he weak? Is he weakened when he's split? Ah, uh, he can't... Mmm. Mmm. So, since he's a copy, he can't do, like, the... For real, for real. But it's a clone! It's a clone. Wait, did he also feel that back there? How does that work? Does every everything of him take damage, even if it's a clone? The original as well? How do the needles affect the original and the clone? Somebody will let me know. Like we touch a part of his soul so it hits his real soul or what? Okay, hold on. Throwing hands. We're throwing hands. 
Gotta shake it off. We're throwing hands. I mean, he is laying into his ass. <laughs> like, just straight, like, punching bag. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, there's some serious issues going on back there. I don't like her chasing, though. You have no idea what he could be leading you to. You have no idea what he's leading you to. We're just gonna blindly follow? I was about to say, no way the cursed energy just hits like that. I think he's gonna join up with the- I think he needs to put the two halves back together and stop bullshitting. Yep. I don't think y'all can stop that. No, they just switched. Or did they just switch to switch? Um, that original might kill- Nabara, we have a bro. Oh! That was a real touch. Okay, the clones. She got touched. Is that it? Is she roasted and toasted? Nah, I don't. Maybe I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this. Mmm. Okay, we're getting a flashback, then... If we're getting... Okay. Well... Classic anime rules. If you get a flashback in the middle of a fight, you're probably going to die, so... Are we taking her out? Because if we're being serious, everyone's like, Oh, the Shibuya arc, like... Bodies drop, bodies die, yada yada, blah blah blah. If we're being for real, for real, there's only been one, like character that's actually died and it's been nanami all the other like sorcerers that we just got introduced to that got like seriously beat up and yada 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 are we getting rid of nanami and nobara and back-to-back -back episodes within the same arc i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say they don't do it they don't do it they ain't got that dog in them this is great and all but like what's happening guys guys what is happening yeah, because she finally had some positive. Not saying her friend here isn't positive. But it, it finally gave her some juice. I remember, yeah, we got that backstory about the older lady moving away. Did we get clarification on that? On why and what happened? On why she stopped hanging out and why she just, like, she randomly showed up and then randomly moved away? Because unless I'm on crack, we've... We, we've gotten this a little bit. Just not with this other girl involved. Sorry. Or however you pronounce it. Why do they keep giving her no nose and no mouth? She did cry. I feel like I'm watching a completely different show, by the way. With completely different characters and, like, no relevance to anything. Such a crazy switch up. Now we're getting all this, like... Nobara acted like this, and Nobara acted like that. She might die. I just don't know if there's anything that, like, they pull out plot-wise to, like, keep her alive here. Well, do you think they death fake us out twice? Because we know Maki's not going to die. They hit us with Anonymy, then they were like, psych, no, then they're like, no, psych, yes. <laughs> he is dead. So, what's happening here? Because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. And not just anime, in all stories, is like... Don't death fake me out, you know? If you're not going to kill the character, then don't do this show and dance and hoop jumping and flashbacks and yada yada blah blah blah. And if you're going to, then do it. Did she die? I don't... Because, like, she didn't... Pop crazy like Nanami did. Uh... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I... Uh... I don't know. Because I, uh, I don't want... I don't want... I'm not trying to get got again. <laughs> With anatomy, um, all signs would point to she's dead. 
Um, they gave, you know, they did the classic anime, you know, flashback of her life, flashback of her friends, her friends thinking about her. Oh, I wonder what she's up to right now. She even says, you know, I had to tell everyone I had a good lie. You know, same thing, yada, yada, yada. And it's not off screen somewhere where like no other character is actually going to know she died and yada, yada, yada. I guess the only reason I'm doubting if she really did die or not right there is because why was he having trouble or saying, you know, I'm curious how the, how my technique essentially will affect her as it did, you know, someone else over here and someone else over there, because everybody we've seen him touch before, everybody, um, goes out essentially like Nanami did. Like you see the full body soul transfigure into whatever curse thing he makes. Like we saw earlier in this episode when he had those humans that he hit Itadori with and the guy turns around and you see like his whole body transform and turn into. So I guess the only reason I'm doubting what happened to her is because we didn't get that full body explosion so like is she just like severely injured or like is did like brain just explode in the in the head? I don't know. I don't know. It's because they have me skeptical because they've already done it multiple times with Nanami, but then they came back and said, "Okay, Nanami is dead." And then with Maki, we know Maki's not dead, okay? She's just not. Um So here but like we did with those two, I'm going to assume she is, but I guess the only holdup is like, why did it affect her? Is he still feeling effects from whatever he just got hit with? All the needle hammer shit, so he couldn't fully like blow her up, but enough to essentially pop her brain internally? Um, I have absolutely no idea. But if they do, hey, hats off to you guys. Hats off to Jujutsu, because... A lot of animes and stories won't do that and won't go there, you know? Spoilers if you haven't seen some of these shows I'm about to talk about. But imagine in earlier Naruto Shippuden days, like, they just kill Sakura. Just done. Dead. Dusted. Imagine Uraraka just gets killed and my hero, like, boom, pop, gone. You know? Demon... Oh, don't get me started on Demon Slayer. Oof. But imagine... <laughs> You know, like, they actually go there. And shows don't go there at all. Attack on Titan does. Um, but they just don't go there at all. So if, if they're really going there, and I and I kind of want to ask, like, my Discord members, ask you guys, like, like, if she's dead, just, like, you can just tell me she's dead. If nobody mentions that she's, like, because I have people tell me in some shows, they're, like, no, they're, like, it's done, it's gone. When people don't, like, say things like that, I'm assuming there's going to be a way or a reason that they're revived or that they come back and everything. But that looks... They gave her the whole song and dance, you know? They gave Nanami his moment, you know, Malaysia walking on the beach. And then they give Nanami, they give Nobara her moment. I'm going to assume she's dead. Now, the repercussions of all that, there's no there's no crazy repercussions, essentially. Um, same with Nanami, you know, there's no crazy repercussions. The only crazy repercussions of both is what the hell what the hell is this man going to do yuji his i don't know the mental it just has to be so far gone i don't even know how to describe it gojo sealed so you know no one's going to come rescue him or there to give him advice or train him up nanami who was like you know I don't even know how, how you would pronounce that. You know, the, like the Kakashi to Naruto, the Jiraiya to Naruto, the Yamato to Naruto, the like the Gojo to Itadori, the Nanami to Itadori. Regardless, killed in front of him. Not just like, oh, Nanami's dead. Killed in front of him. His classmate, his like troop member, killed in front of him. His body just got taken over Sukuna. By Sakuna, Sakuna, who just killed who even knows how many people in the city he destroyed and the things he did. 
And this is happening like... This isn't across like multiple seasons. This is happening in the span of like 30 minutes. Body taken over. One of his teachers killed. One of his closest friends killed. Like what does he do? And we know that like he can't. It's not a Naruto situation where he can just like. Access the chakra from the nine tails to like let out his rage. Sukuna like he doesn't let Sukuna out. And like Sukuna will not come out. And he also doesn't possess the power or the ability to just rage or do something. Like, yeah, he could be, he could rage and go crazy, but, like, he's not yet shown me that he's, that him raging is going to do, I, I don't, I, essentially, I don't know. I don't know what this man is going to need a moment after this is all done. Um, yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it is really, really bad. Um, so in back-to-back -back episodes, Nanami dead in front of Yuji. Nobara dead in front of Yuji. Hell. Hell. I'm going to assume she's dead. And if she's not, that's another strike for them. <laughs> the Maki and the, no the Nanami stuff in the beginning, it's like... Animes don't just, like, chop people without giving them their moment. They gave Nanami his beach moment and his conversation with, or a couple statements with Itadori. They gave Nobara half of the entire episode. Um, but what's so shitty is, like, and I, and I clowned on her, but I saw a lot of people, like, going in on her. You know how the internet does. Um, I'm like, oh, these useless, you know, women characters, you know, she couldn't do anything again, and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't even counting it as that. I'm just like, again, it's like, how can she compete when one of these guys is the descendant of one of the most powerful families and has all these crazy abilities? And one of these guys is possessed by the most powerful curse spirit ever. And she's just like thrown in like here, Sakura, just go. It's like, how can I compete with these like destined gods and all this type of shit? But, you know, you were hoping that like, okay, she'll get her moments. You know, she'll get her like Sakura and Granny Chio moment and she'll get her moment to like do something, you know? And literally, we just fast forward essentially like 20 minutes in real time. And what did... I mean, she helped take out one of his clones? Because I don't think Itadori is going to kill Mahito before this season ends. And I say that be just because that side of the, the bracket, the bad guy side, doesn't really have much bodies left. The tree curse or whatever it was was killed off. Uh, the water one was killed off. Jogo killed off. I feel like Ghetto's got to have some people running around with him. And I'm guessing it's going to be Choso and Mahito. So, like, damn. What did she get done or accomplish? I don't know. It's a lot. We could sit here and go in circles. I'm going to assume right now she's dead. Um, it'd be pretty shit on Jujutsu Kaisen part to go through all that and her not be dead. So, I'm going to assume she is. The only reason I have hang up is because, like... I feel like every time he's touched somebody, the transfiguration that happens is, like, full body. So, again, I don't know if he's weakened from the from the attack that she just put on him. So, he couldn't fully transfigure her, but he had still enough to explode her head from the inside out. Um, and then what becomes of Itadori? You know, he's trying to keep that, like, positive mindset, save who I can. Ah, uh, no bar is out there, so it's good to know I'm not alone. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> we'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...